Hey guys, um, welcome to my vi new video. This ain't really to do anything with Christmas. Um, basically, I felt like before the year ended, I needed to go and tell you. So, what I am, and you could probably already tell, being what the shirt, the shirt I'm wearing. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram or like, um, what's it called? You now. You already know, and if we met, um, if you met me on certain apps, you already know, um, not gonna go there, but, <laughs> um, basically what I'm trying to get at is, I don't really like girls. I don't like girls, um, I'm, I can only be friends with them, and like, basically, I like boys. I like the same sex. Basically, I'm gay. Basically, is that's the word we use to label people like that when it's actually just, it's actually love and why why do we have to label? But like, um, and like again, this is no way I'm not seeking attention. Don't go and say, "Oh, you're just an attention seeker," because I'm not. I'm not. I promise to God. I'm not seeking attention. I am gay, and I'm happy about that, and I wanted you guys to know, because you guys are like my family, and I care about you, and I don't want you guys thinking, I don't, basically I'm going to tell you my story now, um, so basically, I, I guess it had to start with when I f had my first Kind of, I like this one actor, um, he played in a superhero movie, one of my favorite superhero movies, and, and then later it would be remaked, and I would like the guy who played it, and, yeah. Um, so, at that time, I liked that guy, and I didn't know what gay was, I didn't know if that was wrong or right, so, I just liked them, and that's how it was, and then, I went from to an. I have liked many celebrity guys, and I couldn't help it. I didn't know what gay was, and like, I had liked boys basically all like all basically all my life, and that's how I know I am gay. Basically, how I. When someone asked me, I was like, yeah. But the first time someone asked me, I was like, no, because I didn't want, like, I didn't know what gay was. I don't know, I can't say that because it was 8th grade. I don't know. Um, so basically, it was 7th grade, and that's when I first came to the word. And people, I first came to it by um, someone sticking a note on my back saying, I'm gay. It was a, like one of those sticky notes or whatever. And someone had noticed it, and I don't know who put it on my back, I don't remember. And I didn't, that's when I first came to it. The next time I came to the word is when um, I was in 8th grade, and my friend Shane had asked if I was gay, and he had recently came out. And I said no, because I didn't want to come and... In fact, in terms, and even though I had liked a guy, then, 7th and 8th grade, ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, not in my school, um, and I said no, and basically, that year, and it carried on, and then it came to ninth grade where I thought, oh, I'm bisexual, and I came out to Marissa, and... Basically, um, I think ninth grade, I, I didn't come out to Rihanna yet, um, that wasn't until last year, when I basically came out as gay to everyone. I came out as bi first, like, it was over the summer, of course, like, it was ninth grade, but, like, ninth grade, I would sit over there and be like, is it right to like a boy? Is it normal? Is it... And I tried to force myself to like girls, trust me, I had tried and tried didn't even work. 
I thought I had to like a girl in order to go to heaven. But, in like, now it's just like, I like boys, of course, and it doesn't matter. It shouldn't matter if you like boys whether you go to heaven or not. It shouldn't. And, basically, ninth grade, I would sit there, look up at the ceiling. Basically, like, really, like, right there. And look up at the ceiling. And, because I used to think, oh, God's up there. He's up there, right? So, I'll talk to him. And I would talk to him and be like, is it right to like boys? Please, like, give me a sign or something. You know, this carried on into 10th grade. 9th through 10th grade is, like, the years I would say I was depressed. I'm a lot more happier than I was in 9th and 10th grade. Let's just be honest there. Um, 9th grade, it was like, I didn't know what to think. I thought I was going to go to hell because I liked boys. And... 10th grade, it carried on, and then in 10th grade, it's when it got, I got asked if I was gay, by Jonathan, and, um, I said I like boys, but, then we, like, we went to, like, we thought I was bisexual, we thought I was pansexual, and I, I just fully was like, no, I actually, I like boys more, I cannot really hold a hand with a girl, because it's just awkward, and, like, I can't hold a hand with a girl. And like, if, if it's a boy, oh yeah, I'll hold a hand on the boy. As long as it's gay or, gay or bisexual boy, and he likes boys too. I'm afraid I, I think one of the reasons my panic attacks had started was because at that time, it was, I was gonna like come out, I came out to Marissa already, I came out to Rihanna, and she was totally fine with it. The hardest person it was to come out to was my mom and my friend Sam. And my Nana. Um, Sam, because she has been my friend since kindergarten, and like, she liked me, and it was hard to come out to her because I cared about her. I didn't want to hurt her, and like, I thought I would hurt her. Um, but I came out to her. She was totally fine with it, and. I came out to my mom, she was totally fine with it, totally fine with it. And my Nana, I came out, well, basically, I didn't come out to my Nana. Basically, my aunt told my Nana, and my Nana came up to me and was like, so, you're gay, and she was totally fine with it, and I was, like, shocked, and, like, because we have, we already have gay people in our family, um, and she was like, trust me, I'm fine with it, and... I was happy, and basically, I came out on Instagram over the summer, um, you know, I went and hashtag, under hashtag LGBT, that helped me come out a lot more, and I felt a lot more happier, and today, I felt like, you know what, I, why not just do this, let you guys know, um, if some of you don't know, um, I'm like, I already have started talking to boys, basically, who are gay and bisexual, and I've been looking, I don't have one yet, but, um, low-key crushing, <laughs> um, let's just, I don't know, I'm, hope you guys don't, I hope you guys can be accepting and supporting me, and I, Hopefully this helps someone too, because I know there's lots of videos out there, and like if you're struggling with it, um, just take your time. Come to when you come to terms with it, you're gonna be totally like it. After you come out, it's like you feel good basically, and hopefully we can continue and like you guys support. I'll support you. I support everyone, whether you're. Straight, bisexual, gay, lesbian, transgender, whatever. Because I love you guys. And that's always gonna be I, I love you guys. Always, for always, never. No matter what we go through, no matter who or what happens, I'm gonna be here for you guys. Um, if you guys need to talk to me, I'm on Instagram. David's Music Life YTR. I have Snapchat, David's Music 18. I'm on Facebook, David Meller add me. Um, 
and I'll talk to you. If you need help, I'll gladly talk to you. And I'm on you now. Um, every single weekend and when, like, it's break, I go and go on you now. Sometimes I have a little free time and I'll go on you now. Um, this, I hope you guys like this video. Um, just stay true to who you are. Be who you are. And love who you want. Because who, who cares? Who cares what other people think? It's your love, not, it's you, it's what you feel. Not what someone else is, not what someone else feels. It's what you feel, um, and if you're, if I'm here for you. I hope you guys like this video. If you want, leave a like. If you want, subscribe. If you want, comment. Um, I love you guys. And I hope you guys have a good week. Have a good holiday. Well, I'll be back here with more videos. I can finally start vlogging again because I have a camera now. Um. Thank you guys. I hope you like this video. I hope you stick around for more. I promise you there's going to be lots of fun things coming to this channel. Um, and I'll see you next time. And weird saying, squash, squash, la, ui, ua, and bye.